hi people um it's um uh, wow is it really that late here in colorado it's um i don't know why i got can't be after one o'clock in the morning that's not right is it can't be right well my computer got 1 11 p.m uh maybe it is i don't know if it's that late am i clocking the <laughs> that's funny to me i didn't know it was that late okay my computer got a wrong time here it's 11 it's 11 12 here in colorado i don't know why i got 1 12 p.m on my screen here i don't know what that's about but anyway uh i gotta check that out because i don't know why the time's late wrong i mean but uh it's it's about 11 uh a little bit out of after 11 here in colorado and um I've been looking at the news tonight, people. I'm not happy about the news, and I had to come here and do a late video. I'm even waking my husband probably up, but I got to get this out. I has to get it out. Um, I was just having prayer, and uh, and I'm going to come here and share two videos, short videos, one from Stephen DeNoon, three-minute video, and one from uh, Saving Health Ministries, about a 10-minute video, so and uh, about what's going on right now okay what's going on right now with war with china with uh stuff going on over in iran and uh so i just have to come and share these two videos and then i'm going to read uh, a chapter coming from um uh, joel joel sec second chapter what i just got tonight from the lord when i was uh praying and so and that all that's all i have people that's all i have it's late at night I know you guys probably shopping and doing all your stuff, but this is the time of the end at the end, people. You know, the Father told us in the Bible, he told us in the Word. I think I'd get to get a little picture here. He told us in his Word, uh, Ezekiel 2020, and keep my Sabbaths, keep my Sabbaths uh, holy that they, may, that they may be a sign between me and you, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. And I'm just like saying, you know, he said, pray that our flight be not in the winter or on the Sabbath. And we have, we just got into the winter solstice. And now we have Sabbath coming here uh, this weekend. And we got these things appearing before us already. War, 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 people. War, okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on right now. A lot of tension across the nations right now. Uh, but I have to come and share this with you, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. I'm sure this video probably won't be about be about like 30 minutes or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Here's my disclaimer. Um, I'm telling you, people. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We've been watching and praying, watching and praying. So let me go ahead and do this video right now. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to let this guy talk. Uh, Stephen DeNoon talk and him talk, okay? And then I'm going to read uh, Joel 2. Joel 2, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and do it right now. Father, be with me as I get this word out to the people, this message out to the people, helping them to know we are in the end, at the end, to prepare, to make our preparations, uh, to make our callings sure with you, Father, repenting before you, crying before you, helping to know that we need to repent, 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 Father, oh, as these things are about to come before us. So I'm asking you to please be with each and every person watching, helping them to make their calling and election sure, knowing that we will be facing all kind of judgments and calamities and tribulation and trials, Father, before us the next few months ahead. So I'm asking you to help us to get through these things coming, my God. You said to pray that we'll be able to get through these things coming, to pray that we'll be worthy to escape these things coming. And I ask it in the mighty name of Yeshua to give us the power, give us the light of rain, the form of rain, let the rain fall. As you told me the other day in uh, where it was, uh, I think it was uh, Zechariah 10th chapter, Ze Zechariah 10, 1. So, uh, Father, be with me tonight. Uh, let these messages get out to the people. I ask it in the mighty name of Yeshua. So let's go ahead and listen to uh, this video here now. Let me go ahead and mute it out.
President Trump sending a warning to Iran after a series of rocket attacks targeted the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. President Trump tweeting, Iran was responsible. Lucas Tomlinson is live at the Pentagon this morning. Lucas. Julie, the top U.S. commander in the Middle East called that rocket attack on the embassy the largest in a decade. Late last night, President Trump issuing the following threat. Our embassy in Baghdad got hit Sunday by several rockets. Three rockets failed to launch. Guess where they came from? Iran. Now we hear chatter of additional attacks against Americans in Iraq. Some friendly health advice to Iran. If one American is killed, I will hold Iran responsible. Think it over. The U.S. Navy also giving Iran something to think over. Monday, the guided missile submarine USS Georgia transited the Strait of Hormuz off the coast of Iran and slipped into the Persian Gulf. The submarine carries over 150 Tomahawk cruise missiles and has a dry deck shelter to deploy Navy SEALs for potential sabotage operations to cripple any Iranian port. Escorting the sub through the volatile strait, a pair of guided missile cruisers, USS Port Royal and Philippine Sea. Those two warships alone are also armed with dozens of Tomahawk cruise missiles as well. In addition, the American destroyer John Paul Jones tested her five-inch gun in recent days to send another not-so-subtle message. The guided missile destroyers also armed with dozens of Tomahawks. In total, dozens and hundreds of these cruise missiles are now in range of Iran, ready to launch in minutes and destroy any Iranian targets if ordered. The USS Nimitz is also in the area and can launch dozens of F-18 Super Hornets like this. Air Force jet fighter squadrons are also in the area. B-2 and B-52 bombers can deploy from the U.S. on short notice if needed. Israel is also making plans to deploy a submarine to the area. And today on Christmas Eve, over 60,000 U.S. troops are stationed still in the Middle East. Many of you are aware that we have been discussing war between America, Iran, China, Russia, North Korea, and Venezuela. And here we are about to see communism fall very soon. Notice here the headline. It says, Trump makes threats following largest rocket attack on U.S. embassy in Baghdad since 2010. The article goes on to say, the Sunday rocket attack, which included 21 missiles that killed at least one Iraqi civilian and damaged the embassy compound, was the largest such strike on the Iraqi capital's green zone in a decade, and it is thought to be linked to Iran. Here it goes on to say, from President Trump in his tweet, it says, Our embassy in Baghdad got hit Sunday by several rockets. Three rockets failed to launch. Guess where they were from? Iran. Now we hear chatter of additional attacks against Americans in Iraq. Brothers and sisters, war is on the horizon. Another article confirming this, it says Trump blames Iran for rocket attack on U.S. embassy in Iraq issues fresh threats. This is just from yesterday. All right, moving on to another article. Notice what it says here. It says, Trump will meet same end as Saddam Hussein, says Iran's Rouhani. Notice here that the leader of Iran is threatening Trump's life. It says, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has issued his fiercest condemnation of President Donald Trump to date, branding the outgoing U.S. Commander-in-Chief crazy and suggesting his fate will be similar to former Iraq dictator Saddam Hussein, who was executed in 2006 after the U.S. invasion. Brothers and sisters, War is on the horizon, and Bible prophecy is fulfilling. Daniel 11 will soon meet its completion. Notice here, another article. It says, Iran behind pro-Trump hit list of U.S. election officials, FBI says. So now Iran has a hit list of those who are supporters of Trump that are election officials that they are targeting them directly. It says... The attribution is the second time in two months that federal officials have said Iran imitated threats of right-wing violence to stoke fear around the election. Brothers and sisters, Iran is looking for revenge. And remember, earlier this year, in January of 2020, Qasem Soleimani died behind a drone strike from America. Here, 
Another article concerning the military situation. It says Trump vetoes U.S. defense bill, calls it gift to Russia in China. Mercy, brothers and sisters, this is crucial, especially considering the fact that we know that China and Russia are planning to invade America in the very near future. Notice another headline. It says, Russian and Chinese bombers conducted another joint patrol between South Korea and Japan. Russian and Chinese aircraft conducted an exercise over the East China Sea of Japan on Tuesday, prompting responses from South Korea and Japan. It appears to be the first such joint exercise since July of 2019 when South Korean aircraft fired hundreds of warning shots and Russian aircraft flying near a group of isolates that Seoul and Tokyo both claim. Brothers and sisters, Russia and China now flying bombers together? Bombs soon will drop in America. Notice here, another headline. It says, World War III. Now, we know it's not World War III, but war will break out. It says, South Korea scrambles fighters to intersect 19 Russian and Chinese aircraft. South Korea has scrambled a team of fighter jets after 19 Russian and Chinese military aircraft flew close to its airspace, sparking fears of World War III. World War III won't break out until after the Mark of the Beast, but communism will fall on the dark day in the very near future based on prophecy. Many of you have seen our video concerning the five nations that are against America and plotting against America. We've shown the connection between Iran, Venezuela, China, Russia, and North Korea who are now working against America. Brothers and sisters, notice what it says. China-Russia strategic ties to be strengthened, sending strong signal to new U.S. government. Brothers and sisters, China and Russia are working together. Here, another article, it says, U.S., China, send navies into contested sea after Taiwan show a force. Taiwan is preparing to defend themselves against an invasion by China. Very soon, we will see China's attempt to invade Taiwan and then an invasion upon America. Here it says, Taiwan, which has repeatedly warned of intensified Chinese military activity around the island, deployed six warships and eight aircraft to stand guard and track the Chinese ships, the island's defense ministry said. Brothers and sisters, war is on the horizon, and the question is, are you surrendered to Jesus that when the war on God's commandment-keeping people ensues, that you do not betray your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you surrendered to Christ? Are you walking with him? Because remember, Russia has 10 warships in the waters even now. We shared that with you previously in a separate video. Also, Russia just recently hacked the U.S. Treasury and the U.S. Nuclear Weapons Agency, brothers and sisters. And now the U.S. will close the last two consulates in Russia. Why would they close them? Because war is about to break out. It says the closure would leave the United States with one remaining diplomatic outpost in Russia amid heightened tensions between the two countries. Brothers and sisters, have you set your house in order that should you die, that you have put in place the blood of Jesus upon your heart and put a will in place that God's money might go to his cause? Brothers and sisters, we need the blood of Jesus and we need to have a will because any of us can die at any moment. And remember, Russia is flexing its muscles as Vladimir Putin sends 10 warships to British waters. So 10 warships already in the waters with Russia. And you have 10 
oil tankers that I don't believe are carrying oil, but carrying military equipment or soldiers that Iran is headed towards Venezuela, but it actually could be headed towards America. Brothers and sisters, let us be on watch because very soon your house could be broken into by foreign soldiers on American soil. Brothers and sisters, are you surrendered to Jesus and are you prepared to die? Remember, we have warships right now on both coasts prepared to defend against an invasion. Very soon, Bible prophecy is fulfilling. Let us take advantage of dcprophecy.com and share that website with those who know not the truth concerning God's word and the soon fulfillment of Daniel chapter 11 concerning Bible prophecy, which reveals that we can trust the word of God and believe on the word of God because Christ will never fail us. Friends, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news. It is actually Christmas Day, uh, early in the morning over in Syria, and Israel is launching airstrikes uh, on targets inside of Syria there. Uh, here's some uh, quick footage for you. Uh, the Syrian uh, state media is saying that they have engaged the missiles coming in with their air defense systems here. This is how Israel is greeting the Lebanese, uh, Lebanese and Syrians on Christmas Eve. Pure categorical evil, says Ali there on his uh, Twitter page there. And it is... You know, you'd think that some things could be sacred for somebody, but uh, unfortunately, Israel is just not showing any consideration whatsoever uh, for the situation that's going on there in Syria. Uh, and it looks like everything is pretty much the same videos that we've seen already coming in. Uh, and uh, RT also has already picked up on this. Here, and the air defense has responded to Israeli aggression. Explos explosions heard over Hama uh, countryside. Ava also showing the target place here. There was also one Israeli source uh, claiming that they were targeting a chemical factory, but uh, we're finding out that this is also where the Iranian Quds forces, it contains a scientific research center and Farrier 5 missile depots in addition to an Iranian missile development center uh, that is actually there. And so Ava uh, Kolariotos has actually uh, published that. This is the site, the photos there that are on this. Uh, we'll be speaking about this a little bit later tonight. Going to be speaking to you, too, about the situation from the video we did yesterday about the president, what he's up against, and um, just kind of let you know some things there. Uh, I did have uh, a meeting earlier today, and so I was able to try to get a little bit better idea of what's going on uh, in Washington, and it, it's very, very, very touch and go. It's a very serious situation. It's about as much as I can say on this as of right now, but I'll, I'll try to update you guys a little bit later tonight. Uh, I've got to go back and sift through some of the information there, some of my notes here, and uh, and see what we can talk about here that I can share with you. Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Israel targeting Syria once again. And uh, even according to this report here, Iranian Quds Forces, their facility there, where they're making missiles. So they're getting ready. I will say this. I think they're getting ready for the war with uh, Iran. That is something that's very much on the uh, for, for, uh, front end of the burner here. And I have now actually, too, I want to share with you one other thing, too, quickly before I sign out of here. I've got a third source, Israeli source, that has confirmed that it is indeed a true fact that Israel knows that Iran does have nuclear weapons already. Um, they did con they did say that it appears to be that Netanyahu was trying to keep them from advancing that process further, but they are aware that Iran is a nuclear power. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Good evening. Okay, people, I'm going to just go straight to the Word, the Bible, real quick. 
but I was given a few minutes ago before I came on this video I wasn't going to do a video at all and I get these reports and then I get this message from the Bible so I'm going to read Joel 2 Joel 2 and uh, you can read it in your Bibles it's got a few, a few uh, verses here uh, so about 32 verses okay and I'm going to read the whole thing so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Father, be it me as I read your word. We know we're in the end at the end. Let your Holy Spirit read. Uh, be with me, Father, in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Thank you so much. Um, it says here, the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahuwah cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like. He listened to that. There has not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. I'm reading from the uh, unlocked King James Version, okay? The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before they face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust one another. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path and when they fall upon the sword they shall not be wounded they shall run to and fro in the city they shall run upon the wall they shall climb up upon the houses they shall enter in at the windows like a thief the earth shall quake before them the heaven shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw they shine in and Yahuwah shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that exec, ex, executive uh, his word. For the day of Yahuwah is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. Oh, people, I told you on my last video, the Father was showing me in Job how he was so upset about the COVID <laughs> So upset about all these uh, devils and uh, uh, these demonic people. These uh, people who say they are physicians and they are liars, okay? And they are deceivers uh, and they also uh, witch doctors, okay? And I'm telling you, he's saying, return to the Lord. Therefore also now saith Yahuwah, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. And rend your heart and not your garments, and turn into Yahuwah, your divine one, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and relenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and relent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto Yahuwah, your divine one? Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify, sanct sanctify a fast, and call a festive assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. You know, I've been reading this week a lot about, he's been showing me all kind of stuff this week, just cons cons consistently, and Jacob. 
Zechariah 9 and 10, which I'm going to come and read on another video, uh, probably my husband and myself. Uh, he been giving me stuff in Zechariah 9 and 10, where he's talking about the latter rain in verse 10, 1. And then also he's talking about Ezekiel 44 last night, about how the shepherds, how these pastors, how these preachers uh, are deceiving his flock, uh, not telling the truth to his people. So I'm telling you, he's telling us to return to him, people. Come out of Sunday worship. Come out of false worship. Come out of false doctors. Come out of false, all this false teachings and stuff. I told you he said in Revelation 17 and 18, come out of her, my people, be not part of these congregations uh, of liars because he said you will receive her plagues. It's time to come out of these people who don't follow him and keep his commandments, people. Don't listen to the massive telling you it doesn't matter. We need to be knowing in Matthew 5, he said he came to this, not he came not to destroy the law, but he came to fulfill the law. We need to know that he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So it's really time to come out of these false uh, churches, people, out of these harlots, mother of harlots, okay, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet, let the priests, the ministers of Yahuwah, weep before the porch, and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, Yahuwah, and give not thine inherit give not thine heritage to reproach, that the ethnic nations should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their divine one? Oh, people, 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 wake up, my God. Help them to wake up, my father. Help them to wake up. The Lord had pity. Then will Yahuwah be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, Yahuwah will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and you shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the ethnic nations, but I will remove far off from you the northern army, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate, with his face towards the east sea, and his hinder part towards the utmost sea, and his stink shall come up and his ill fate savor shall come up because he have done great things fear not O land be glad and rejoice for Yahuwah will do great things hallelujah he's going to take care of his people he is going to take care of his people hallelujah be not afraid ye beasts of the field for the pastors of the wilderness do spring for the tree beareth her fruit the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in Yahuwah, your divine one, for he has given you the former rain moderately. There it is again, that former rain. He gave it to me uh, just yesterday. I told you guys in, uh, in uh, um, Zechariah 10th chapter, okay? So he's saying here again, be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in Yahuwah, your divine one, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you to rain the former rain and the latter rain in the first month hallelujah and the floors shall be full of wheat and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil and i will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the canker rum and the caterpillar and the palmer worm my great army which i sent among you and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of yahuwah your divine one that have dwelt wonderfully with you and my people shall never be ashamed never be ashamed and you shall know that i am in the midst of israel and that i am yahuwah your divine one and none else and my people shall never be ashamed the lord will pour out his spirit and it shall come to pass afterwards that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Yahuwah come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahuwah shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahuwah has said, and in the remnant who 
whom Yahuwah shall call. Oh, hallelujah. So that's the message for the day, people, tonight. I had to give it to you. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I don't want it to be too overlong. Uh, it's already probably at, uh, yeah, close to 30 minutes, like I said. But I'm going to go ahead and do another minute and um, go ahead and play uh, uh, this thing coming from Maranatha, Satan and the threefold union. And so I'm just telling you guys to be ready, to be ready, to stay ready, to repent and make sure your calling and election is sure before your Shua, your master, your savior, your creator. Oh, hallelujah. So let's go ahead and do that. Mute, mute it out. July 2. Satan and the threefold union, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Revelation 13, 4. He had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Though professing to be the followers of the Lamb of God, men become imbued with the spirit of the dragon. They profess to be meek and humble, but they speak and legislate with the spirit of Satan, showing by their actions that they are the opposite of what they profess to be. This lamb-like power unites with the dragon in making war upon those who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And Satan unites with Protestants and Papists, acting in consort with them as the God of this world, dictating to men as if they were the subjects of his kingdom to be handled and governed and controlled as he pleases. If men will not agree to trample underfoot the commandments of God, the spirit of the dragon is revealed. They are imprisoned, brought before councils, and fined. He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Thus Satan usurps the prerogatives of Jehovah. The man of sin sits in the seat of God, proclaiming himself to be God and acting above God. There is a marked contrast between those who bear the seal of God and those who worship the beast in his image. The Lord's faithful servants will receive the bitterest persecution from false teachers who will not hear the word of God and who prepare stumbling blocks to put in the way of those who would hear. But God's people are not to fear. Satan cannot go beyond his limit. The Lord will be the defense of his people. He regards the injury done to his servants for the truth's sake as done to himself. When the last decision has been made, when all have taken sides, either for Christ and the commandments or for the great apostate, God will arise in his power and the mouths of those who have blasphemed against him will be forever stopped. Every opposing power will receive its punishment. So whose side are you going to be on, people? Whose side are you going to be on? We got war in the land. We got things, uh, all the evidence, all the uh, signs are showing to show you that we can have war any moment, any time, any minute, even this weekend. I don't know, people. I just know I had to come get this message to you tonight. I hope you guys are having angels all around your households, all angels to come forth. As it says in Psalm 91, he will put his angels in charge over us. And you have to call on your angels. You have to uh, ask the Lord to send angels every night, every day. I'm having angels all over the congregations of my online ministry, myself, my household, my grandchildren, my families all over the world, different nations, uh, the missionaries. I am praying constantly for people because America is in a mess, people. We are in a mess, a real mess right now. So it's time to really sound the alarm in your neighborhoods and your uh, wherever you go and uh, try to warn people about we are in the end at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out this video, but I just had to come here and share those messages to you tonight because uh, the Father moved me to come and do it. And so uh, I hope you guys are understanding the times we are living in. So I just want to thank you guys for all your offerings to help the homeless, the orphans, the widows, and those in need of mission fields. May Yahuwah richly bless each and every one of you. Our donation website, fmcmi.org. 
uh, amarna.campbell at, at gmail.com at paypal uh, you can mail in donations at fill my cup ministries post office box 414 canyon city colorado 81215 shipping address fill my cup ministries 15 on 1 main street number 414 canyon city colorado 81212 i really wish each and every one of you a, a really safe uh, holiday season uh, you know I just did Hanukkah, uh, so I'm just knowing that our Father above was not born on Christmas Day, but we know he was born. So a lot of people are uh, ce celebrating all over the world, but I'm telling you, it's time to really celebrate him in your closet and go and talk to him and seek his face because soon and very soon, people, we will be tested like never before. So you need to know who you're going to serve, who you're going to follow, uh, who you're going to die for, as uh, David House just mentioned. So we need to know it's time to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. So Father, be with the people watching. I thank you so much for your love for us, your care for us. As we know, all these things are coming before us, Father. We ask that your Holy Spirit would be with us. In the midst of the storm, in the midst of the war, in the midst of tribulation and trials, whatever. Uh, be with us, Father. I bind Satan and all his evil angels. Below beyond beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against us in every way. We ask for your Holy, Holy Spirit to cover us, Father. I bind up the spirit of backlash. I bind up the spirit of every hex and vex and voodoo and black magic and witchcraft and sorcery uh, of this COVID. COVID. Uh, we know that, Father. Father, you said these people are, are witch doctors, Father. We just ask that you help us to believe in you, my God, right now. Believe that you can heal, deliver. Uh, you can set us free, Father, in every area of our life. We're asking you to touch the people's minds, hearts, souls, Father. Waking them up, my God, tonight. We thank you so much for your love, your mercy. Oh, we thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. So we just ask that you come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father, for being God all by yourself. And I ask these blessings. Uh, to help the people as they go through the, this storm in our lives right now, uh, whether it's physical, mentally, spiritually, supplying all they needs this weekend, tonight, whatever, Father, putting angels, angels, angels around our doorposts, around our homes, around our communities. Uh, we just thank you so much, Father, for your love for us, your care for us. We ask these blessings in your name. Shalom, shalom. So I'm going to go now, people. You have a wonderful night. I just had to get this video out. Please share this video. And I love you guys. I'll be back when I can. I I hope you just have a safe holiday season. Have a safe holiday season, people. Uh, please, just don't be doing things you shouldn't do. Don't go out if you don't need to go out, you know. Just watch and pray, watch and pray, watch and pray. So I'm going to say shalom, shalom. I love you guys so much. I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys. Thank you for watching again. Shalom, shalom.